Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to be upgrading my new 3D printer. But before we get on to the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I've had my printer for about a month now and it honestly works pretty flawlessly. I've had a couple of mishaps here and there, but it was mainly my own fault and changing my settings, which I shouldn't have done because they work when I didn't change them. So there's that. Um, but essentially there's a few things that I just want to upgrade on the printer just to make it a bit more custom and stuff like that. Now I say upgrade because really other than adding one thing at the end, there's not really much upgrading going. It's more just uh, adding features, I guess, little things here and there. There are a couple of things that work a little bit better, but really like the, the normal things that come with it work fine. Um, but pretty much it's mainly cosmetic. First up, we have a cover for the control knob. This is purely aesthetic and serves pretty much no purpose other than just making it look better. Next up, we have a cover for the end of the bottom rail. This forms two purposes, one being aesthetic and also covering up the bearing from any dust and everything as well. Next, we have a cover for the back of the LCD display and control board, and this is mainly to protect the control board. And also, I don't know about you, but I have cut my fingers on the solder joints many times, so this is going to stop that. Now, this is our first upgrade that is actually what I would consider an upgrade, and it is a new spool holder. Uh, that I use some bearings that I got from the skate shop and essentially it just makes the uh, spool of filament spin a bit better and not get caught up. Now along with that we now have a filament guide. This guide is purely just to help feed the filament in straight and stop it getting caught up on any cables or anything. Now, I don't know about you, but I tend to use the scraper that came with the machine a lot more than I thought I would. And this is a perfect little holder that attaches at the top above the power uh, block and holds the scraper in place. Next, we have these drawers that go underneath the bed and they are purposely designed to hold all of the tools that came with the machine and they fit in there really nicely. Now, this one is purely for me for aesthetics, but I have seen some pretty horrifying pictures of people's uh, cables that have actually ended up through their prints and I know a lot of people put these uh, chains on to prevent that, but it pretty much I just wanted to add it for aesthetics. And last on our list is an enclosure. I know an enclosure isn't really the most important for a lot of people, but my 3D printer lives in my wood shop and I worry a lot about dust. Now, I will say that this enclosure is not made to be used closed because there's no ventilation or anything like that but it is purely to keep the 3d printer safe and away from dust when not in use and when i'm using the cnc which is directly next to it and cutting wood in the wood shop and, and all that sort of stuff so essentially the enclosure just stays closed at all times unless i am printing all right that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you got something out of it uh, i'll have all the links to all the print files for everything that I put on the 3D printer. And there was one other thing that I wanted to put on and that was a BL Touch. 
Now, I haven't had any issues using my printer so far, and I went to put the BL Touch on, and it was such a pain in the ass that I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna leave it off until I have issues with the printer, if I ever do, and then I'll put it on then. Because really, I don't think I really need it right now. And as I said, if I have issues in the future, I've got it there to put on. But really, it was it's such a pain to run all the wiring and pull the motherboard and everything like that. So yeah, I'll have a link to that, the one that I bought down below as well, but I didn't actually put it on. But hopefully you got something out of the video. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you next time.